Look at these Ertl plastic Buick Regal NASCAR cars. Piedmont Airlines and look at there. Richard Petty, STP. I got these several years ago in a box lot. I mentioned in a video that I would buy box lots from a guy who wheeled and dealed in toys. And I got this huge, huge box of stuff that, you know, he never did anything with. He was just overflow. Got it for about 20 bucks, and now he had some Tonka, some die casts, some action figures, and these cars, and there was other things, and I just don't recall what it was. But I held on to these. Piedmont Airlines, Buick Regal. I do not know who drove it, but it's got Terry Labonte on the roof. Of course, we got Richard Petty's STP 43. There's play where the decals have some issues, but they're both intact, no brakes. The interiors. NASCAR interior, you got the, the safety netting, one seat, and one steering wheel, one steering wheel, a steering wheel. So let's check these rides out. Alright, we'll look at the blue one first, the Piedmont Airlines. I'm not a fan of blue, but there it is. I actually built this model car when uh, I was in a NASCAR. I just don't care for NASCAR anymore. But you see, uh, it's got all the decals with some play wear. Uh, you know, the roof's got the decal still on it. The wheels and all are, they're not damaged. It rolls very well. And again, no brakes. There's a shot of the back. Man, you can actually see a little bit inside the interior. Uh, not that great. Most damage to the decal is on this one, on this side here. It's, as you can see on the quarter, it's kind of peeling. But there it is. And it's got the white mags. Uh, this STP Richard Petty has the chrome. We'll check that one out now. Yeah, you can make out Ertl Made in USA. Well, you might not be able to make it out Made in USA. This is Ertl, Dyersville, Iowa with a serial number. Or maybe that's a zip code. Uh, it is Made in USA. Alright, there's the front. I noticed that the uh, interior and the chassis on both cars are blue, so maybe that's just how they did it, just made all the chassis one color and slapped different bodies on it. Uh, the decals are in pretty good shape. It has hood pins, uh, yeah you can see them, there's the hood pins. Uh, but again the decal on the roof has got a cut in it, but it's on there. Uh, that's the best shot of the interior I can give you, but you can see seat, steering wheel, shifter. Alright, there's the roadside. Again, decals and, you know, a little wear, but not too bad. Net still in the window. There's the back. Pretty good shape. No brakes, no damage, no stains. Curbside, I don't know if I showed this already on this one, but if I did, you're looking at it again. There's a freebie. Alright, that's it for these two. Uh, questions I have did they do other drivers cars I don't like I'm not into NASCAR anymore and when I was in a NASCAR I pulled for the Ford drivers but I want to say that there was like a JD something on the back of one of the uh, uh, one of the Buicks that uh, it was blue as well couldn't tell you how many of these they made uh, uh, what, uh, uh, and what the versions were, but like I said, I've got these two. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I like how they look. They look really good. They look just like a Regal. Uh, I, I might, if I get it, uh, you know, very interested in them. I might see if they did Thunderbirds, but I doubt they did. Uh, you know, Ford toys are harder to find than GM toys. It almost kind of irritates me. But there's your Ertl. NASCAR Buick Regals. Not sure when they came out, but they're 80s Buick Regals, so I'm going to say the 80s. You guys enjoy it. Have a great day.